Hey, this is Lee from Musical Cheers Entertainment, aka DJ Cheers. And what I want to do today is show you how to link your virtual DJ software through to your freestyler software so you can control your lights. Now, a lot of DJs have bought some lights, um, discovered these little plugs on the back of it, and probably not worried about it too much, just plug them in and run sound to light. You can make yourself a far better light show if you can control your lights. So what you need to do this, what I'm going to demonstrate with is just a simple LED park in. Uh, I've got a DMX King interface here. Um, obviously USB cable to plug it into your PC and a cable to join between the interface you're using and your light. So what we'll need to do this is some drivers for whatever interface you're using. Now most of the drivers use the FTDI interface inside there. Um, this one I've got the DMX King is works kind of like an NTEC Pro but it was actually built from the ground up right here in New Zealand so it's got extra protection built into it. Um, it's a really nice interface for even cheaper than the NTEX so definitely check that out. Now what we need to do is go to a site I'll flash it up on the screen anyway, but it's ftdichip.com slash ftdrivers.htm and this will give you the latest drivers for any of those NTEC style devices. In my case I'm running Vista Business and that's definitely covered by this driver. So we come down and we've got a choice of two, you've either got a VCP or a D2XX. The VCP is a virtual COM port and the other ones for DirectX drivers. We, we want the virtual COM port drivers so click on the VCP and we want the ones for Windows and we want 32-bit although they're the same anyway so we want to suck it down as a setup executable so click on there and save that onto your desktop or wherever you want it now the other thing you're going to need is Freestyler if you haven't got it installed already so download Freestyler And save that which I've already done okay so what you want to do is install Freestyle and our Freestyle I'm pretty sure installs drivers already for a lot of devices um, so you may get away without having to download that driver anyway but I would recommend it just do the standard install here While that's installing, make sure that your box is all hooked up correctly. So you want to be going to the DMX in there. You want your cable to plug in to your interface box. And obviously your USB cable is coming out of there. And don't plug it into the PC yet until we've installed everything. It's just version history, we don't need that. Okay, now I'm going to install the drivers for my device as well. Just double click on that. Go run. It says installing driver. It says it detected a 32-bit operating system, which is correct. quickly flashed up it was and succeeded I think <laughs> not really sure and now we should be able to start up the software so there's our icon there 
double click on Freestyler. What we want to do is an interface setup. Select your interface. In my case, it's the DMX King. And what COM port it's on. Now, we don't know what COM port it's on because we haven't actually plugged it in yet. So we'll close this down. And now we want to pull the microphone off the table. Put that back where it was. <laughs> and then we need to get this USB plug here and plug it into a port on your PC. Says it's installing the device driver software now we might just click on that oh it's given it to us com3 is what we want now if you miss that coming up you can actually go to control panel go down to system device manager slightly different to get in there in windows 7 and in xp but process is the same get into your device manager screen and you'll find USB serial port under ports and that's the COM port there that you need for setting up Freestyler so now back into Freestyler continue in demo mode, yes back to our Freestyler setup and we need to change this to be DMX King 512A on COM3. Save that. We've got no error, so that's good. That means it's found the little box and hopefully things are well. Okay, so now we're linked into where we need to be. We can't add remove fixtures because we haven't got any fixtures yet. So we need to close Freestyler and create ourselves a fixture just for that. LED can there, so we go to fixture creator we just want a par can dimmer um, if you're doing a moving light you really need that one there so you've got the different options for colours and gobos and that sort of stuff but ours is just a simple par can so we're going to click on that one just give it a manufacturer name, mine's going to be DJ Cheers the fixture name is an LED par uh, picture, I haven't got one, but we'll just choose anything over here. Yep, that's kind of it. Number of channels, this one's got four channels. And that's all we need really to get it going. You can go to channel description and give each thing a name, like that one would be red. You don't have to do this, but I know that these are red, green and blue to control them. And that one's like a the main controller which does dimming and strobing and that sort of thing okay so we're back to here we save that save it as LED par close that back into freestyler what we're doing here is adding our fixture Look for DJ Cheers, LED par, and we want to add that by clicking the arrow. We want it to start at row one, number of fixtures to add one, start address one. So I don't really want to go too deeply into DMX and how it works here, but basically each light has a different start address, and that's usually set up by dip switches or now sometimes digital panels. So in this case I've just turned on dip switch 1 which means it's at start address 1. Now this is in binary so don't just turn on dip switch 7 and go hey this is terminal number 7 that ain't going to work. So the other thing with this is this fixture needs dip switch 10 on as well to know it's got DMX. Some do some don't. So you'll need to check the documentation for your fixture and just make sure you've got that set up correctly to receive DMX. In our case, this is right one, start address one. We just go add. There's our fixture there. Now we can close this. 
then we get our picture up here that we chose earlier. So this is my parkan. If I click on it, it goes a different colour of blue. That means I've got control over it. Over here, some sliders. These sliders control as if it was a DMX desk. So in my case, I need to turn main right up to full and red up to full. And you can see we're now doing a red light. So we now have control over this light from the PC here. So I can turn down the red, fade it out. It's a bit tricky with one hand. And turn up the green, turn down the green. You get the idea. Okay. Next step is to create a sequence that will flash the lights for us. So quickly do that. We click on the create sequence. This is step one and for step one we want the main to be on full, we want the red to be on full. Now you've got these two options here, fade, snap, off. Snap means it snaps straight into it, fade obviously fades into it. In this case I want all four to be snapping so it's going straight to red. I click the add scene over here I change the red down, I put the green up, add scene again, turn the red down and I turn the blue up, add another scene, and in this fourth scene I'm going to do red and blue together. Okay, now you can check if that worked by using the arrows here, just click back through and make sure everything's changing as it's supposed to. And we can see here that it is, when I click it, it changes the colour. So that's all good. What we need to do now is save that test queue, edit to queue, edit to buttons, save. Do you want to overwrite? Yes I do. Okay, close that window. Open the queue window. You'll see there's your test queue there created, being added into here. Press the play button and your light should be changing automatically now. Just one second intervals because we haven't linked it to VTJ yet, but you do ha now have at least the software is controlling the light. Very cool. Okay, so this is assuming you've got Virtual DJ installed and working already. So what we need to do is get the SPDJ plugin for Virtual DJ. Thanks heaps to SPDJ for putting this together too. Really nice work. Now to download it, we need to go to the download section, plugins, effects. Obviously only available to registered users. If you're using Virtual DJ for your DJing, especially if you're linking up to lights and stuff, just pay for it. Let's go to all. And you'll find it right there, SBDJ Freestyle uh, Sound to Light. Click on the little disc picture. Save that to wherever. Double click on the install. Run it. It says successful. Okay, so now we just click on Virtual DJ Pro. Uh, grab ourselves a song. Okay, what we need to do is go to Effect, Others, there you'll find the Freestyler. Click on Refine Freestyler, select the Pass Beat. Now in Freestyler itself, you need to make sure that it's set to sound to light for whichever clue that you're activating there. So if we turn that off, turn it back on, you can set that running and it's just doing its normal one second pattern. Fingers crossed, hopefully I can go back to Virtual DJ. 
or to refine a freestyler again, select the pass beat, hit the play button, and now our lights are in perfect sync with the music.